the science guy. Thank you for sharing about creation and evolution and why parents should not teach their children about creation. From a science guy, it is very enlightening. You make many points in your YouTube video. I cannot address them all as I seek to keep my response fairly short. In summary, you do not present a single piece of scientific evidence to support your arguments. You state, denial of evolution is unique to the United States. Hello, what world do you come from? People worldwide know that evolution is a hoax. Belief in some form of creation abounds. Such beliefs almost universally deny evolution. You follow up by talking about innovation. Based on history, the results is obvious. Innovation flourishes in a Christian society, as is shown by the history of North America. I do not know how you missed this. We were founded on Christian principles and had a great innovation. Many great scientists of the past and present believe in creation, not evolution. Sir Isaac Newton, the greatest scientist of all time, the co-founder of calculus, the discoverer of the laws of gravity and of planetary motion, he believed in creation and God of the Bible. Newton said, science can tell us the motion of the planets, but not who put the planets in motion. Louise Pasteur did incredible work in microbiology and discovered the first vaccines for rabies. And Michael Faraday in electromagnetism, electrochemistry, great innovations, all believers in creation. I could go on and on, the list is lengthy. Limiting teaching to evolution is not big think, it's think suppression. It leads not into greater innovation, but reduced, suppressed innovation. You say a portion of the society does not believe in science. Hold on, this may be true, but it has nothing to do with creation. This is a false deduction. Just because someone believes in creation does not mean they do not believe in science. A 2007 Gallup poll showed that 70% of the United States of America population do not believe in evolution. Many, probably most, believe in science. They believe in true science, not the distorted view you are trying to present. Following is another example, a false statement. Evolution is the foundational idea of all life science, you said. Again, you said it with no evidence. In fact, all evidence points to design, not randomness. The famous British philosopher Anthony Flew dropped his long-held belief in evolution as he learned about the incredible design and complexity in cell biology and genetics. Evolution of life is a joke. There is no evidence. The chemicals needed to form the foundations of life cannot come together, as was shown in the 1952 experiment by Miller, and remains unchallenged to this day. Ernst Henkel's embryo diagrams were proven false in 1874. They have remained in textbooks through the 20th century. You do not provide any evidence in your video for your claims. Why? There is no evidence. Your old professor, Carl Sagan, has mentioned. Mr. Sagan said we are all star stuff, meaning we are all just part of the matter of the universe. But hold on. There is apparently not enough mass in the universe for the Big Bang dust to collect to form stars and galaxies. Where did the first stars come from? Evolution has no answer for this. Mr. Science Guy, you're in love. You want to tell the world. Love between two people is a wonderful thing. It can cover a multitude of wrongs. But in science, love does not make wrongs right. The creation worldview has existed since recorded history began. The Greek and Roman gods are no longer believed. The flat earth is no longer believed. But creation remains. Or the truth will never go away video. Science guy, who does not provide any evidence from science in your video. What is the real reason for producing this video? Is it really to raise literate voters and taxpayers? From what I hear, what I see is someone trying to suppress knowledge and force parents to teach only what you want taught. This leads not to literate, productive members of society, but to sheep who will blindly follow whatever someone leak tells them, whether it is the truth or not, without any skill to discern for themselves. This is not big think. This is think suppression. What is next? Fahrenheit 451? And book burning?